Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Zach. Today's project is we're going to be putting new cushions in my trailer. Now I can't sew, so we're going to have to do these without sewing. So please follow along as we do this project. Now here's uh, the materials I'm going to be using. I can't sew, so we're going to be putting these together uh, with no sewing involved. So I've got the plywood for the back, I've got my, uh, my covering, my material for covering it. There's eight yards there. It seems like a lot. I might be covering my couch also. And then I've got my cushions, my foam that I've cut out. So uh, I'll explain how I did that a little bit later. I've got some multi-purpose spray glue adhesive, my stapler. And then just a few other odds and ends here. So uh, this might look a little bit thicker. Here's the original cushions. So these original cushions are quite a bit thinner. But what we'd always do is we'd have the original cushions plus two inches of memory foam on top. So we thought we'd get the six inch uh, foam. So it's a five inch foam, high density foam, and then uh, a one inch memory topper. And that's how it'll be nice to sleep on and then hopefully it'll work for sitting also. Okay, so here's the mattress ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the mattress protector here. And then under here it's got one of these um, fire retardant covers. I cut that off and then I'm going to use the foam that's underneath to make my cushions. Okay, let's see how we do this. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to test fit the foam first before I go through all the work of wrapping it and everything. So looks pretty good. Fairly tight there. All the way around. The These cushions here, the, the back cushions are a little bit shorter. You can see they're a little bit shorter. It clears the bracket at the end, but it's quite tight. You see there. So... There we go. I think that'll work great. Now, I'm no detective, but that almost looks like the size of a puppy dog's mouth. Okay, here we go. So here's the wood that I'm going to be attaching to the back of the cushions. You can see I left um, about a full inch on either side. And I'm going to mark that in felt mark, felt marker. And then that's just for when I fold over my, my um, upholstery. It'll, it'll kind of pull in without making a sharp edge there. So I'm going to sp uh, spray glue this on right now. Got to spray the glue on both sides, on the wood and on the foam, and then I'll use my marks to just place it into into the right spot. Okay, so let's see how that goes.
Okay, as you know, this uh, foam, it came out of a mattress, one of those Amazon, order on Amazon, arrive in the mail mattresses. Anyways, it was wrapped in this. This is like a, a fire retardant material, I believe. And then there is just the, the mattress saver, just some cloth. Anyways, what I was thinking I would do is I would wrap the cushions with this first, and then I would add the top of this um, mattress saver on top of the, the cushions before I put the upholstery on. And then I thought I'd probably put this on the bottom. So I know that's quite a bit of material though, so we'll have to see how that works. These are the staples I got, just T50s. I've got some 3 8 and half. I was thinking the 3 8 to to get it all all connected and then I'd put in the halves at the very end after, when I attach this material to keep it all nice and tight. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Okay, here you go. So you can see I cut the mattress protector so that it still has the corner pocket because I want to use that corner pocket for my uh, cushion. And then I just pull it up a little bit here. There's more than enough to cover and I'm just gonna staple it here. The key is to not pull too tight so that you have too many uh, dips and stuff in your cushions. It's just to get some pressure on it so it's not bunching up underneath the upholstery. But, um, and not too tight. So that's what we're gonna do now, okay? Okay, there you go, that's the finished product there. So, it should work pretty good. Just use small little folds for the sides. For the corners, I just did like a, a pocket there. The bottom, just the bottom of the mattress protector, stapled on. So, it should work pretty good. Okay, I just wanted to show you how I'm doing my corners. Definitely no professional, but you know, works for me. So I do two little folds. There's a little fold here, and then this one I want to line up with this. So this fold, so when I bring it up, I want it to line up like that. So I fold this over. That's the little fold that gives you the point up top. And then this one, just lines up there. I don't know if you can see that. So the, the first one is the point. So we'll staple that in. And then this one comes up just out there and bring it up just flush with that. And then I just staple it into my board there. That gives you a kind of a nice corner. Maybe not perfect, but it looks pretty good for me. Okay, that's it. There's our done cushions. You can see, since they are a little thicker than the old ones, you know, your leg's a little closer here. But you don't have to lay back as far, you know. That feels fairly comfortable. But the same, they're a little bit higher. You know, just because it's a six inch, up six inches here rather than say five inches. But uh, overall, 
pretty good. I like them. On to the next project.